All right, hello and welcome. So big news today out of Tampa Bay, or I guess out of Ian Rappaport's mouth regarding Tampa Bay. The Buccaneers are expected to pursue Baker Mayfield when free agency hits as one of their top options to compete with Kyle Trask. Uh, come training camp. I don't love it. I don't think it's a great fit. Now, I do think Baker Mayfield is fine. I'm not even knocking Baker Mayfield, the player, as the choice. I just think it's a bad fit for the Bucks where they are now. I think if you're the Bucks, you kind of want Kyle Trask to win the job, right? You want him to win it outright. It'd be great if he does. But you really want him to win it regardless, right? You want Trask to step up, win the job, take the reins, get control of it, of the team, and run with it. And then, you know, if he takes his lumps along the way, bumps and bruises as the season goes, that's to be expected for a young quarterback. Essentially, it's going to be his rookie season. But you want him to play. Now, if Baker Mayfield comes in, you could have the exact same situation that the Carolina Panthers had last year, which is Baker Mayfield is not bad. He's not a bad quarterback. Now, he may not be good or great or anywhere near as good as where he was drafted. It says he should be, but he is certainly far from bad. So is he going to be able to be beat out by Kyle Trask? I don't know. And personally, I probably would have went with a guy who was a little bit more conducive to backing up a quarterback, right? You look at maybe a Taylor Heineke, you look at a Chase Daniel, a Jacoby Brissett. Those are guys who, yes, they could push Trask. They could give him the opportunity to have somebody there who has played games in the NFL behind him and could make him kind of, you know, give him that boost, right? Kind of kick him in the pants a little. But at the same time, if Trask beats them out or it's just close and the the team goes with, gives the nod to Trask, they understand how to be number two. They know how to be a backup and they know what it takes because being a backup quarterback is not just sitting on the bench and not playing or holding a clipboard. There are intricacies to the position and it'd be nice to have a veteran backup who is able to help coax the young quarterback along, rather than a guy in Baker Mayfield, and I mean this, not it's no disrespect at all to Baker, but I think he's the type of backup who's going to continue to gun for the starting job because Baker Mayfield doesn't think that Kyle Trask is better than him or that Kyle Trask is uh, going to keep the job if he wins the job or that Trask is even going to be able to beat him out. So I don't think he's going to help Trask along or guide him on his journey. I think he's just going to keep trying to be the starter and keep trying to take that spot. So I don't like it from that sense. I think by default this year, if you start Baker Mayfield, the Buccaneers start Baker Mayfield, the year is kind of useless in a sense because what have you accomplished? If Baker Mayfield starts all the games for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, best case scenario, they do okay, right? They do well. Talented team, Baker does well, boom, great, that's cool. If that happens, in your best case scenario, you've accomplished what long term? Because I don't think Baker Mayfield is a long term answer by any means for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, so. Where did you go with that? Because you didn't get to see what Trask is. You didn't get that opportunity. Then you're going to be in too high of a pick or too low of a pick next year to be able to draft the long-term answer. So then where do you go next year? Where does Baker Mayfield this year set you up for next year? I don't think anywhere good. If you play Trask, then you know, okay, we need a quarterback or okay, we've got a quarterback. Cool. We can move forward with that. With Baker, he leaves you with more unknown than known. And I just don't think that it's a good fit and... I just personally don't see it. I don't see it as a good fit. Now, that's not a knock on Baker Mayfield. I don't even think he's a bad quarterback, like I said before. I think he'll beat Trask out, for sure. I think Baker Mayfield's going to be the starting quarterback of the Buccaneers if he's on the team um, and given a fair chance. So it's an interesting decision by the Bucs that that's kind of their vibe. Um, I just don't know if it necessarily jives with the rest of where the Bucs are. You know, that feels more like a... It just doesn't feel like it fits. So we'll see. Like I said, I would have preferred a guy who could maybe be an older veteran who could take Trask under his wing a little bit more than a guy who's going to push Trask. Um, <clears throat> but that's just me. We'll see. Only time will tell. Baker Mayfield to the Bucks Could be interesting. Have a good one.